S212 is one of the, in my opinion, is one of the most more important classes that we teach. When you think of firefighters, chainsaws aren't usually a tool that comes to mind, but these firefighters say they do a lot of work behind the scenes. Without the without the essential tool, our chainsaw, we, we would definitely be uh, very hindered in how we fight fire. Chainsaws provide access to fires and clear hazards, but one of the most important jobs? The big one is being able to clear the fuel loading for the hand crews to be able to put in fire line. Firefighting isn't easy, something second year firefighter Austin Bedkey knows all too well. When you get the fire call, your adrenaline spikes through the roof and you're getting all your stuff thrown in the truck and getting out as fast as you can. When a firefighter does get that call to go out on the field, there's a lot of gear they need to make sure they're ready. One is this yellow shirt, which is heat resistant and flame resistant, and these chaps, which help protect their legs when they're operating a chainsaw. They also have to have their line pack, a chainsaw, gas and oil for the chainsaw, and of course, a hard hat. This training is meant to give firefighters a way to learn how to operate the tools safely. You're not only running a chainsaw, but you're also on an actively burning fire. So there's all these other outside components that are that are coming in that affects how you safely can run a chainsaw. The job is physically demanding too. Another reason why this training is so important. It's muscles you've never used before and your body's tired, your forearms tired from holding the saw and you kind of get a little wore out and that's when you have to say, hey, I'm tired because that's when accidents happen. But at the end of the day, the challenges are worth it. The coolest thing for me is being able to see um, the students who are really excited about running a chainsaw and wanting to learn, and me being able to have the opportunity to be able to give back and teach them what I've learned. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.